Initially, I was not interested in the pipeline. I was only interested in the refinery to produce petrol, diesel, aviation fuel for East African market. It is Total who insisted, even when Uganda had to give away US dollars 20.7 per barrel <coughs> to use the pipeline. In the end, we support the pipeline because it contributes something modest to our Tanzanian sisters and brothers who, under Marimu's leadership, contributed so much to Africa, including Uganda, in the anti-colonialism effort. Besides, the pipeline corridor provided by the Tanzanian government will bring to us gas from Tanzania and Mozambique because our gas resources are not that big. We need gas for fertilizer manufacture, to produce chemicals, it is therefore, therefore down with the imperialist parasitic measures. However, Africa should know that even during the anti-colonial struggle, we had progressive whites that were on our side. Lord Fena Brockway, Sardingo Sa Food, Professor George Shepard, ETC worked with Mr. Msazi in our anti-colonial struggle. Even today, there are progressive forces in Western Europe who can work for the common good of, of humanity, who are not part of white chauvinism. We shall seek them out. Most importantly, the oil project and other projects are, are unstoppable. The NLM has always had a correct philosophical, ideological, and strategic grasp of all issues. Nothing can derail us in spite of the good movement in the world to curb the emissions of, of the greenhouse gases and move away from oil and fuel for cars. Our oil will remain valuable. We shall still need the oil for textiles like this, the shata I normally put on. It is 65% polyester, which is from oil. We need hydrocarbons for fertilizer, nitrogen, for plastics, for tar, for our roads. As you saw, we are moving on the electric vehicles, electric pickies, using hydrogen for steel manufacture ETC. However, our oil will remain useful for other non polluting purposes. All living things have carbon in them. Carbon is not a problem. The problem has been greed of foreigners who jump from this to that looking for money without careful and honest study. Before the coming of foreigners, Africa was using solar energy, wind energy, ETC, for drying things, processing millet, and using carbon for, for blacksmithing in a controlled way. With the more understanding of natural laws, science, if we would do away with greed, all these products can be used safely and sustainably. When oil will no longer be needed for driving cars, it will serve us longer for use for other purposes. I thank everybody. In particular, I thank their excellencies, His Excellency Ndaishi Mie, President of Burundi and Chairman of the East African Community, his Excellency Salva Kir Mayadit, President of South Sudan. His Excellency Sheikh Mahmoud, President of the Republic of Somalia. His Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency Dr. Ali Mwinyi, President of Zanzibar. And the Chairman of the Revolutionary Council representing the President of the United Republic of Tanzania. His Excellency Ebua Jean-Pierre. Vice Prime Minister of and Minister of Public Service of, 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 of DRC and uh, uh, His Excellency uh, Professor Manasi Nshuti, Minister of State for East African Affairs, representing the Republic of Rwanda, and uh, Dr. Peter Mathuku, Secretary General of the East African Community, and uh, Sadio Kamara, Minister of Defense of the Republic of Mali for honoring us by positively responding to my invitation to be with us.